Katie, how much of a, a meaningful pullback in, in bonds do you think it'll take to uh, move equities, or, or the reverse, how much of a pullback in yields will it take to move equities meaningfully higher and, and change that dynamic of, of the lack of bullishness that we're really seeing out there? Yeah, I, I would say that surface, I actually would say that I've been surprised how resilient markets have been generally on a year-to-date basis. But more, more recently, obviously, things have, we've seen some risk aversion rise in the market. Um, I would say that we're probably actually more bearish than most people about what lies ahead from here. Um, and we think that the economy is likely to deteriorate more than consensus. And so that leads us to be kind of longer term bullish on bonds and probably pretty cautious on equity markets from here. So as part of that, just the overall lag effects here, and we really yeah. haven't seen as much of an impact, I think, as, as many were expecting on the real economy from just this historic rise in rates. Is that partly, in, in your estimation, mm. due to the lag effects? And if so, when and how do they ultimately show up? Yeah, I think that the lag effect is real. I think it's reasonable to say that, and this isn't going to be very brave, but it's true, and true things are important. We are going to have a recession, because that's the way the world works. It moves in cycles, and we haven't had a, a real one for over a decade and a half, except for a short blip, which we all know. So we have a lot of excess we need to work out of the system. I think some of it's worked out, and the cushion's much thinner, and we can unpack that in more detail. But there is more access to go. And the longer we go until we get that recession, the more leverage there is to the downside. So I'd first say that. Um, and then I would say that whenever capital reprices this aggressively, and it has priced very aggressively, and it's repriced in a short period of time, things break. So you asked about the, the lag. There is a lag, and more things are going to break. We've already broken a couple of things, or almost broken them. We almost broke the UK pension market, and we broke some regional banks. Um, and there's going to be more dislocation ahead, clearly, as capital reprices. I just want to end by saying the other reason I would be cautious about getting involved is that you are getting paid to be patient right now. Cash has a good return. And so being defensively positioned for us, you know, being in high um, quality investment grade debt or in the securitized space, I think we have an agreed philosophy around o owning agency MBS just, or cash. Treasuries, these things are all paying to investors, and th so I do think it pays to be patient and wait to see uh, those higher rates work through the system. We haven't yet seen the full pain of higher rates, but it's coming. 